Great to be here. It's, I think, the fifth thing I'm attending. And I think I've probably uh, gone through a major transition in my life. And uh, no better place to start and share this with my friends over here. So to start with, I love food. Who doesn't? Right from uh, my college days to my entrepreneur days as a gaming company, this was staple food, junk food, like everybody else. Uh, I used to travel a lot, and that involved late nights, pizza, Pepsi, burgers, and everything else. Remember, I was running India's biggest games company. I was the ultimate gamer, and not only that, I was the gaming king of India. It was incredible. I had uh, three, four hundred employees making games on all kinds of things and living a great life. However, the reality sucked. While I was a national level volleyball player in school, I started looking like a volleyball myself, maybe bigger. And uh, while I was building my company and like a lot of the entrepreneurs, I did realize at the time that, yeah, we did build a successful company, I did sell the company, but what I really lost was my health. So while wealth is something we all seek, the biggest challenge really goes to our health. And in my case, uh, I came to a position where I said, I really need to do something about it. And not knowing what to do, and a gamer in me and the technologist me in, uh, me, in me thought of a very, very simple thing. I said, let's do one thing. Let's hack uh, my way towards fitness. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to share these little tips from you on how could you hack your way to fitness. So the first thing, like anybody else, like a big entrepreneur, you need to think big. So while my friends were saying, let's do 5K, 10K, I said, no, I have a very, very big goal. Let's do 100 kilometers of walking in 48 hours. That was a crazy, crazy goal. That's what I started with. And as I said, when you think big, automatically bigger things happen to you. And this led to me to the next big thing, which is how the hell do I do it? And even before I realized it, I announced this to the world. I put it on Facebook, Twitter, every possible social network that I'm going to do this. And the simple reason was that now I was accountable. Everybody I met was like, are you the stupid guy who's going to walk 100 kilometers? And I got a whole team together. And now, not only was I attempting this crazy thing, I had a whole group of people pushing me, pressurizing me, and motivating me in a different way. The next step after that was even simpler. I got myself a fitness coach. The coach, even though I was always traveling, his job was to nag me, motivate me, push me, help me plan, put some things in perspective, especially to prepare, because I had almost two to three months before this grand finale of doing this event. And remember, I was literally going from couch to 100K. It was a crazy challenge. Uh, doing that, what I did was a very, very simple thing. I broke down this whole challenge into smaller parts. I tracked everything. I had trackers all over myself. I was you know, having apps, various things. And the simple thing for me was 100 kilometers is nothing but walking 10 kilometers 10 times. Or to put it even simply, on an average, we all do about five to 6,000 steps a day. So it's about 15,000 steps 10 times. So it was not, not really that big. It's a game. We level up and we move ahead. We broke it down into a very, very simple thing. The second thing, the, th the next thing which was very important was to dress like an athlete. I know everybody thinks this is Photoshop, correct? Not, not really. I'll be showing you doing this right now. This is not Photoshop. <laughs> Confidence gets you capability. And I think that's really it's all about. It's all in the mind. And a lot of people look at these big goals and lose confidence. And in my case, it was exactly the opposite. Always think more of your capability. The final thing was taking tips from pros. Every time I told this about, about my crazy journey to normal people, they said, you're stupid, you're going to die. <laughs> Don't attempt it. Uh, this is not how, what normal people do. You should go to a gym and so on and so forth. I said, no, I'm doing this. However, whenever I spoke to pros, people who did marathons or people who have done ultra marathons, they only had advice and tips and how I can do it. So that was a very, very important thing of going to the pros. So finally, the one lesson which I learned was most people failed not because they didn't have the capability, it's because they got injured. So my entire technique was, it was not about walking 100 kilometers, it was essentially making sure you do not get injured 
in walking 100 kilometers. So I did blister prevention. So the whole strategy was around this, and that's what happens in life. We get injured, and a lot of people who are like completely fit walk 20, 30 kilometers, and then they're out of the game. So it was crazy. I made sure I avoided injury. And the next thing which I really loved, I ate and ate and ate a lot. And why? Because I was not eating junk. I was doing what we call carbo-loading, putting all these pictures on Facebook, Twitter. This was inspiring a lot of people that, hey, what's happening with you? You are doing all of this. And I was like, no, look at my, my running data. I've been running X kilometers every day. So while all this was going, I went with my friends. Uh, we went, uh, we did this trek in Bangalore, uh, in, you know, going in the outskirts, took a lot of pictures, and we finished this 100-kilometer walk, this crazy walk. However, the big story is not that. The big story is I have now done this not once, not twice, but thrice. For the last three years, I've been doing this. This is called the Oxfam Trail Walk, which they do. Uh, last year, I took 25 people with me to do this, and this year, I'll be doing this with over 200 people. So that's the power of motivation, and I'm sure a lot of you, we all think that, you know, what do I do? What do I do with my fitness, or what do I do to change? And I think it's all in your mind. Your mind can be the force and change you and take you from couch to 100 kilometers. Thank you.